All right, y'all. Peace and blessings. God bless you all. I'm Jarvis Kingston, and I hope that y'all doing all right, staying strong and solid in these times that we're in. I pray that you have repented and that you were baptized. I pray that you are safe, protected, and prayed up. And I just pray that whatever situation that you're going through, that the Lord is with you, that he guides you, protects you, he looks out for you, he comforts you. I pray that your mental health gets better and that you become more strong and wise in the Lord. I pray that you keep fighting a good fight of faith. You keep running your race. You keep your eyes fixed on the Messiah. You keep your eyes fixed on the prize. You stay on a narrow straight gate path and you help out plenty of people along your journey forevermore. Amen. Always remember that the Lord will never leave you nor forsake you and that the Messiah intercedes for you. So always stay thankful, grateful, appreciate it. Take it one day at a time. Most definitely, let us thank the Lord for another day. Let us thank the Lord for waking us up and giving us another chance to seek his face. Let us thank the Lord for food in our belly, clothes on our back, and a roof over our head. Let us thank the Lord for protecting us and guiding us coming in, going out, getting us through the morning, getting us through the afternoon, getting us through the evening, getting us through the nights, the days, the weeks, the weekend. Praise him for his safety, his protection. Hallelujah. Most definitely, his mercy endures forever. He really looks out for us with his grace, mercy, favor, love, the outstretched arm of God, the mighty hand of God, the finger of God. God, thank him for his word. Thank him for his only begotten son who died for our sins. Hallelujah. There's always something to praise the Lord about, y'all, most definitely. He continues to keep doing for us. He continues to keep looking out for us because his mercy endures forever. He protects his people. He keeps his promises, y'all. So praise him most definitely, y'all. Welcome, brothers and sisters of the faith all over the world. I love you all. I appreciate you all for listening. It means a lot to me. I love you all. Praying for you all. Let us always uplift each other in Christ. Let us always encourage each other in the Lord. Let us constantly support each other, pray for each other, intercede for one another. All those things, people. We have to constantly be together on one accord for the Lord. Amen. Most definitely. Much love to the 12 tribes of Israel scattered all four corners of the earth, all the scattered Israelites among the nations, all ends of the earth. Much love to the churches and ministries out there with the fellowship, the gathering, the sound doctrine, and the love. Much love to the isolated believers who are going through it, who are going through persecution, all the strong, bold, courageous believers out there, the martyrs who did it before us and the future martyrs. Much love to the great tribulation saints down the road. Much love to the grafted Gentiles of all nations, tribes, languages, tongues, races, faces, kindreds all over the world. Much love to the brand new converts out there. Anyone who just gave life to Christ, God bless you. Anyone who just became a believer, God bless you. Anyone who just repented and got baptized, God bless you as well. Welcome all brand new believers. Love you all, most definitely. Welcome everyone, all peoples, all nations, all tribes, all languages, all tongues, all races, all faiths, all kindreds, everybody. Let everything that has breath. Praise the Lord, all the animals, all the creatures, all the beasts, all the fish in the sea, the birds in the air, the trees, the plants, the mountains. Let all of God's creation praise him. Amen. Most definitely. Whether you are an Israelite or a Gentile, it is all right. Whether you are chosen or adopted and grafted in, it is all right. Let us gather together and praise the Most High. Sing a new song. Clap our hands. Stomp our feet. Praise him. Rejoice. Always rejoice. Make a joyful noise. Make a joyful sound. Play an instrument. Cry out to him. Express yourself how you want to for the Most High, people. Always serve him with gladness and joy. And always worship his spirit and truth, y'all. Praise him. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Love the Lord your God with all your might, heart, soul, strength, and might. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Love the Lord your God with all your might, heart, soul, strength, and might. Let us love our neighbors as we love ourselves. And let us keep doing Father's business and Father's will for the rest of our lives until the sun comes back. Amen. He is coming back like a thief in the night in a twinkling of an eye. He has come back at an hour nobody knows but the Father. He is coming back with them angels, y'all. So let us keep our lamps and our oils. Let's keep the commandments. Keep the word of God. Keep the testimony of Jesus. Keep doing the Great Commission. Keep spreading the gospel. Keep being doers of the word. Constantly do a Father's will daily, people. Stay in your purpose and you're calling for the most high, y'all. Praise him, y'all. Most definitely. Times are getting more weird. Weird and strange in these times, so we got to be firm, steadfast, and bold and courageous. Amen. Praise the Most High, y'all. Let the Lord keep revealing Himself to us more often through dreams, visions, encounters, more various ways to communicate with us. Let's be better listeners and better uh, believers and be more obedient. All right. Let us know the Lord better. Let's get more close to Him and seek His face. Draw near to God, He'll draw near to you. Let us obey the gospel. Let us obey the law, statute, commandments. Let us obey all of God's word. Anything most high to us personally, according to His life, according to our life, our calling, our purpose, our gifts, our talents, our situations, what have you. Handle that, people. Be responsible. Be more accountable. Be more discipline and handle it amen praise the most high y'all all right y'all so i hope y'all good and strong out there okay so in today's message we will go through jen de leon's church note and then from there we will close out with a prayer we will close out with a priestly blessing and we will close out giving all the praise honor and glory to the most high god of abraham isaac and jacob and praise his only begotten son who died for our sins amen hallelujah y'all so here we go hallelujah praise him y'all all right so the title of this church note is look for it the church now starts off with the book of 1 Kings chapter 18, verses 42 through 46. 
41 through 46. The Lord sends rain. And Elijah said unto Ahab, Get thee up, eat and drink, for there is a sound of abundance of rain. So Ahab went up to eat and drink. And Elijah went up to the top of Carmel. And he cast himself down upon the earth and put his face between his knees and said to his servant, Go up now, look toward the sea. And he went up and looked and saw it and said, There is nothing. He said, Go seven, go again seven times. And it came to pass at the seventh time that he said, Behold, there arises a little cloud out of the sea like a man's hand. And he said, Go up, say unto Ahab, Prepare thy chariot and get thee down, that the rain stop thee not. And it came to pass in the meanwhile that the heaven was black with clouds and wind, and there was a great wind, a great rain. And Ahab rode and went to Jezreel. And the hand of the Lord was on Elijah, and he girded up his loins and ran before Ahab to the entrance of Jezreel. All right, let's continue with this church note. Things happened fast. Amen. God has a way of stopping the unstoppable. You might think your boss is a boss, but your boss has a boss. There are some places that hell cannot perform. No weapon will prosper. God will break it down in such a way that you'll have the victory anyway. You have to work hard to get your thinking clear because as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. When you get your thinking clear, God is going to do some amazing things in your life. Stop the noise. Just because my phone rings doesn't mean I have to stop everything and answer it. Some people bring an energy of disruption with them. The enemy knows if you focus, you're going to be unstoppable. The greater the mission in your life, the greater the distraction. Whenever you're under attack, go back to the place where you last experienced God. There is noise that is in your life that we're sent just to distract you from the commandment God gave you. You can't tell if it's God or not God, if you should go right or left, to fight or be still. You have to stop and take control of the noise. Most people will not put in the work to get their thinking clear. To get to a place of peace, you have to work at it. It won't just happen because you need it. You have to work on getting your thinking clear. Otherwise, you'll make a decision in noise. You think God is not talking. God is talking, but the noise is distraction for you to hear. You have to make a decision on who you let invade your space, get in your head, cloud your judgment, and influence your thinking. If you don't stop it, the noise will influence the decision. I cannot produce your fruit, so never be jealous. An apple tree cannot bear a pear, cannot produce a pear. Stop praying that the noise will stop. Kill it, cut it off, shut it down. Stop bringing people around who are cluttering your head with problems. Be still and know that I am God. You can't know if you won't be. What brings fire won't bring water. Tradition is a wonderful thing until it stops progress. The tool that you use to bring you here will not be the tool you use to take you there. That's why you have to have a flexibility because this, this is a different kind of fight. You can't expand energy trying to drag people who don't want to go. If there isn't peace on the inside, there won't be peace on the outside. Everyone around you is trying to drag you into their noise. And if you're not careful, you'll give up and find yourself in a distraction that doesn't even have anything to do with you. Not what has not what has God said is what is God is saying. Some of us are walking in an old word, not getting it right now for the situation we're in right now. If you don't get the right word, you'll kill what you are to keep. What worked yesterday will not work today. I'm going to wait on him. I'm going to I'm going until the word is clear. I'm going to wait for a change. Go look for it. Sometimes you won't see it the first time. Go look again. You've got to be so focused that even when they don't see nothing, as long as God said it is in your spirit, said in your spirit, go look for it. Sometimes the people close to you will contradict what you hear in you. Seven is the number of completion. You quit after three times. If you would look for it the seventh time, fulfillment, completion is there. God said, don't worry about how little it looks because something big is coming out of something small. When you know you got the anointing, sometimes you got to run. You can't wait on nobody. You've been praying how long. I'm tired of being in a situation. How long I'm tired of being misunderstood. Don't worry about the time. God said it's going to be quick. It's going to go from little to huge. What God has for you is for you. Get out of my way because I'm going to run for it. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, what I love to do as I close out is give all the praise, honor, and glory to the Most High God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and praise His only begotten Son who died for our sins. Amen. Hallelujah, y'all. He is the Most High God of heaven and earth. He is the God of Shem. He's the God of Abraham. He's the God of Isaac. He's the God of Jacob. He is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob forever. He is the God of Israel. He's the God of the Hebrews. He is the God of Noah, Job, and Daniel. Praise the Most High. His only begotten Son died for our sins. Rose up three days later. Praise the Messiah. Much love to the Messiah. Praise him, y'all. He is the last Adam, the second Adam. Praise the Lord, y'all, the advocate, the almighty, true and living God. Praise the Lord, the Alpha and Omega. Amen. The apostle of our profession, the arm of the Lord, the atoning sacrifice for our sins, the author and finisher of our faith, the author and perfecter of our faith, the author of life, the author of salvation, the beginning and the end, the beginning of creation of God, the beloved son, the blessed and only potent 
Hallelujah, the blessing only post and blessing only ruler, the branch, the bread of God, the bread of life, the bridegroom, the capstone, the captain of salvation, the chief cornerstone, the chief shepherd, Christ, the Christ of God, the constellation of Israel, the cornerstone, the counselor, wonderful counselor, the creator, the day spring, the deliverer, the desire of the nations, the door, the elect of God, Emmanuel, God is with us. Eternal life, everlasting father, faith and true witness, faithful and true, the faithful witness, the first and last, the first begotten, the first born from the dead, first born over all creation, the forerunner, the gate, the glory of the Lord, God, the good shepherd, the great high priest, the great shepherd, the head of the church, the heir of all things, the heir of all things, the high priest, holy and true, the holy one, the hope, the hope of glory. The Holy One of Israel, the Horn of Salvation, the I Am, the I Am that I Am, the I Am who I Am, the Great I Am, the Image of God, Jehovah, Jehovah, Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Shalom, Jehovah Nasai, Jehovah Jireh, Jesus of Nazareth, Jesus the Judge of Israel, the Judge King Eternal. He is the King of Israel, Amen. He is the King of Kings, Hallelujah. He is the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Hosanna of the highest praise, Hosanna, Son of David. Blessed be He that comes in the name of the Lord. We have blessed you out of the house of the Lord, King of Saints, King of the Ages, King of the Jews, the King, the Lamb. King of the Jews, the Lamb, the Lamb of God, the Lamb without blemish, the last Adam, the lawgiver, the leader and commander, the life, the lie of the world, the line of the tribe of Judah, the living one, the living stone, the Lord, the Lord, our righteousness, the Lord is my banner. The Lord is holiness. The Lord is my portion. He is my strength, my rock, my redeemer, my salvation, my refuge, my good fortress, my high tower, my deliverer, my redeemer, my healer, my provider, our shield, our buckler, all of that y'all praise him. Yah, Yahweh, Yahuwah, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh ben Yahweh, Ahai Yashai, Yeshua HaMashiach, Baraka Fah Shalom Shalom, Yeshua Elohim, Yehosha, Yehusha, Yehosha, Ahai Yashai, Adonai, Yahuwah, He is a consuming fire. He is the Father of lights. He is the Father of the fatherless, the Father of widows, the Father of mercies. He is the God of heaven and earth. His son sits at the right hand of him. The government rests on his shoulders. He is the great physician who can heal all things. He's the carpenter who can fix all things. With God, all things are possible. Nothing's too hard for the Lord. God made everything in six days and rest on the seventh day. You can fix your situation right now in the name of Jesus, y'all. We touch and agree, y'all. Call on him. He'll show you great mighty things, y'all. Search and seek him with all your heart. You will find him. Faith has made you well. Your faith saved you. Healing, restoration, deliverance, miracles, signs, wonders. We are in agreement with the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. We know that forever, the, the rest of our lives, that the mighty hand of God is going to be in our lives forever. The outstretched arm of God is going to be in our lives forever. The finger of God will be in our lives forever. Amen. We touch and agree. Praise him. He is the Lord of all, the Lord of glory, the Lord of lords, the man from heaven, the man of sorrows, the mediator of the new covenant, mediator of the new covenant, the mediator of the new covenant, the messenger of the covenant, the Messiah, the mighty God, the mighty one, the morning star, the Nazarene, the offspring of David, the only begotten son of God, our great God, our savior, our holiness, our husband, our Passover, our protection, our redemption, our righteousness, our sacrificed Passover lamb, the power of God, the precious cornerstone, the prince of kings, the prince of life, the prince of peace. The prophet, the redeemer, the resurrection of life, the resurrection, the resurrected of life, the revelation, the revelator, the righteous branch, the righteous one, the radiant one, the perfect example, the rock, the root of David, the rose of Sharon, the ruler of God's creation, the rule of the kings of the earth, the savior, the seed of woman, the shepherd and bishop of souls, the Shiloh, the son of Abraham, the son of David, the son of God, the son of man, son of the blessed, son of the most high God the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him, the son of righteousness, the just one, the one mediator, the stone to build is rejected, the true bread, the true God, the true light, the true vine. Yes, he is the truth. Amen. He is the way. Hallelujah. He is the way, truth, and life. Praise him. The wisdom of God, the witness, the wonderful counselor, the word, the word of God, the word of life, the word of Yahuwah, the word made flesh, the living word. Praise him, y'all. Always, forevermore. We know that his word is purified, civil, just as David said in Psalms. We know that every word of God is true, pure, and flawless, as the book of Proverbs says. And we know that his words are double as the book of Hebrews says. Amen. We touch and agree, y'all. So there you have it, all right? That's the message for today, y'all. Keep, ser ser keep searching, keep digging, keep looking, asking and it'll be given to you. Seek and you shall find. Knock and it shall be open for you. Praise the Most High always forever, y'all. There you have it. What I love to do as I close out is give y'all the priestly blessing on the way out, all right? So here we go. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. And they shall put my name on the children of Israel, and I will bless them. Shalom. Amen. Selah. Barakathah. I'm Jairus Kingston. I love you all. Praying for you all. Peace.